OK, I'm going to show you how to use the downpipe and eaves gutter calculator. And in particular, how to find the desired rainfall intensity. We start by entering our roof catchment area in square metres. It's the horizontal roof area. Our roof slope is in degrees. Now, we come to find our intensity. We click on the drop-down list and we find that our town is not on the list. So what do we do? We set that at I prefer to enter a known intensity and then we go to this link, click on that, which takes us to this page. There's a whole lot of explanation here which you can go through later at your leisure. But the main thing is we need to find the frequency and the duration of a storm the intensity, frequency and duration curves. Now for an eaves gutter we need a frequency of 20 years and a duration of 5 minutes. We click on this for Australia which takes us to the Bureau of Meteorology website where we can find our answers. Now we want to create an IFD, intensity, frequency, duration curve. We need to enter our latitude and our longitude. So this isn't too hard we go back to Google and here we enter coordinates for our town. We write in coordinates and I'm going to try Dubbo. Coordinates for Dubbo and look, it comes up top of the list. Here we have our latitude. We know it's latitude because it says south. And here we have our longitude. We know it's longitude because it says east. We cut and paste this go back to our Bureau of Meteorology website, we put in our latitude. Now we do the same for our longitude. Cut it out of there. Paste it back into there. We don't need to know that, that just gives us a title for our printout. We do need to click this though, um, agreeing to something or other. We press submit and up comes our wonderful graph. The graph's a bit hard to read so we go straight to our table. It's a lot easier. Now for designing ease gutters in Australia we need a duration of 5 minutes and a storm frequency of 1 in 20 years. And there's our answer there. 159 millimetres per hour. If we were designing a box gutter we'd need a storm frequency of once in a hundred years and that would be our answer there. Anyway, for ease gutters, once in 20 years, that's our figure. We go back to our program now and we enter that in there. We enter 159 millimetres per hour in there. Now, moving on, we need to tick if the ease gutter slope is greater than 1 to 500. It should be. So we tick that now we press to calculate, up come our answers. There's a flow there of 5.38 litres per second. It's nice to know, but it doesn't affect us in any way. We need to select one of the following downpipe options. 390s, or 3 100s, or 1 150 diameter downpipe. We select one of those. But this is interesting. Look, we need 390s, or 3 hundreds. How can that be? The two different sizes. So the theoretical size is 295, the nearest highest number is 3, and the theoretical size for this one is only 2.26, but the next nearest whole figure is still 3, and we're stuck with one of those. This is our gutter area in square millimetres, this is our gutter width approximately, and our approximate gutter depth. Now, moving on, if our downpipe is not in this list, or we want to get one a bit closer to 3, we come down to here and we trial and error our size in there. This requires activation, um, so we'll cover that in another video.